Hi, Year 8. I'm Mr. Best. I am the Head of History here at St. John Fisher's, and I'm just going to talk to you about history as one of your GCSE options. So, the first question to ask, I think, is why should you choose history as one of your GCSE options? And basically, I think the answer is because you've enjoyed studying history so far in Year 7 and Year 8, and you'd like to study the subject further. It's a brilliant subject to study at GCSE. It develops loads of transferable skills like explanation, analysis, evaluation, the ability to construct and defend arguments. And therefore, this subject is really highly regarded by universities and employers alike. It prepares people really well for careers in things like journalism, in law, in politics, the civil service, teaching, business, publishing, uh, social work, as well as things like archaeology and the police as well. So it really is a fantastic subject that opens an awful lot of doors for you. In history, there's five modules that we'll be studying in total. We'll be studying Anglo-Saxon and Norman England from 1066 to 1088. We'll be looking at medicine in Britain from 1250 through to the present day. Uh, and within that, we'll also be looking at an environment study, looking at the British trenches of the First World War. We also look at uh, Germany between 1918 and 1939. And finally, we look at the Cold War and international relations between 19. 1941 and 1991. So the first module that we study is Anglo-Saxon and Norman England between 1060 and 1088. And in this we learn all about what life was like in Anglo-Saxon England in the 1060s, how the society worked, how economy worked, how political system worked, that type of thing. And we'll look at why Britain was so desirable uh, to invade by people like the Normans and by the Vikings as well. Uh, we'll look at why, ultimately, it was William of Normandy, uh, William the Conqueror, and the Normans who were successful in their invasion of Britain. And we'll look at how Britain changed once they took charge, and how the Anglo-Saxons responded to this, whether it was through violent rebellion, or whether it was through a begrudging, uh, a begrudging acceptance. The second module that we study is medicine in Britain between 1250 and the present day. And this is a thematic study. And what we're generally looking at is how beliefs about the causes of illness changed, how treatment of disease and illness changed, and how prevention of disease uh, and illness has changed throughout the centuries. To complement the medicine in Britain uh, unit, we also look at an environment depth study of the British sector of the trenches of the Western Front of the First World War. And in this, we look at how the treatment of disease and illness in the trenches changed during the First World War and how it improved. We also look at Germany between 1918 and 1939. So Germany between the First and between the Second World War. And we look at how, how the anger of so many uh, kind of ordinary German people after the First World War towards their government for the perceived failure to deal with, with lots of kind of social and economic problems. We look at how that led to, in 1933, uh, um, the growth of political extremism and, and ultimately Adolf Hitler and the Nazis being elected into government. We also look at the Cold War and international relations between 1941 and 1991. So we look at how two former allies, America and Russia, quickly fell apart to become the bitterest uh, of rivals whose opposition to each other saw the world nearly come to the brink of nuclear war in 1962 and also again in 1983. In terms of the assessment process, the exam board that we are with is Edexcel Pearson. Um, and for this, you're going to have four exams in the summer of year 11. Uh, many of the skills that you will be developing in your GCSE course in history, we have already begun them in year seven and year eight. Um, beyond the classroom, we've got the opportunity of a day trip to St. Jimmy's in Leeds to learn more about the evaluation of medicine in Britain with a bit more of a kind of local uh, Yorkshire focus. Uh, we also have the opportunity to go on a trip 
to Germany uh, in year nine or year 10. And when we're in Germany, we'll be mainly uh, in Berlin and we'll be going to sites that are associated uh, with, the, with Germany between 1918 and 1939 and also the Cold War between 1941 and 1991. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic, fantastic trip and it's a really, really good opportunity uh, for you to learn more about the course and to, and to see a bit more of, of Europe as well. If you have any further questions or queries about history as a GCSE option, uh, please contact me or your teacher and we will be more than happy to help. Thank you very much.